everybody, welcome to my show today. You guys are starting a little bit early, but I have some special guests with me today. Mm-hmm. So you guys want to introduce yourselves? No. Okay, um, I'm DJ Franco. And I'm DJ Zach Tatter. <laughs> and I, I, I'm Zach. <laughs> So oh, that's going pretty well. A beautiful day outside here in San Jose. Uh, you know, what can I say? I can't complain. Finals week, mm-hmm. two weeks. You know, other than that, you can complain about that. I guess I, I could complain about that, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, it complaining would just I don't know. But it's really easy just to say, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna take Thursday and use it as a Friday. You know? Yeah. Anyway, what about you, Franco? I'm really tired. Mm, tired of what? Tired. School, work. I'm tired of being awake. I've been awake for for three for three days. I've been awa- I've only slept like uh, twenty some hours. Oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't do that. Yeah, that's too much. So um. Or or too little. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about a trending topic. Okay. Um. Oh, yesterday, Bernie Sanders was here. Yeah, it was Santa Clara, right? Yeah, Santa Clara County Grounds. Ooh. So that was pretty interesting. Wasn't he here a couple days ago? Yesterday. As as here as in the city, like San Jose City? Yeah, wasn't he in the area? Not like, I mean like before, like a week or two ago, wasn't he? Uh, Yeah, he was here also yesterday. I, I don't know where he was a few weeks ago. I think Vallejo, maybe, but I, I maybe that was the same day. I don't know. My friends went to go see him on Snapchat. Like, I saw the story, but I don't... Yeah, my friends did too. Did your friends get close? I don't know. Oh, my friend touched his hand actually. Oh, oh. Did, yeah. Did, did, did he watch it yet? <laughs> I don't know. She well, she didn't. She, oh. yeah. did, did Bernie sound like wither away? <laughs> no, like here I'll show you guys the video afterwards. Oh, but yeah. um, <laughs> got the Snapchat but, yeah. video right here. Oh, it's Live. It's on Twitter. You already know it's legit. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's on Twitter. No, it's not on Twitter. I was actually oh. going to Twitter to. Check some are you, hashtags. Are you kidding her phone, dude? Oh, it's just, <laughs> okay. I'm rude. Anyways. I mean, you're a table right now. I mean, did you see that? You're like, like as a teacher. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not texting. I'm texting my mom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is it with a little heart and some winky face with a kissy face? No, that's not your mom. Smiling at your crotch. Uh, what? Well, well, that's what people that's what <laughs> would say. They would say they caught the kids because they were like looking at their crotch, like smiling or laughing. Smelling? Uh, smiling. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All smelling. Right, all right. More, more like the you know the lights coming out of the the, uh, the zipper. You know the more like I, I don't know. My my one of my teachers went like, "Hey, is your zipper on, on fire, or does this have some weird lights of LED lights coming out of your pants?" I'm like, what? And I'm sitting there looking at my, at my crotch with my phone in there, and so I was like, "What? Oh, okay, good one." Yeah. It wasn't a good one. I was just saying, it was a teacher. I got to be in the class. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you know, I mean, you got to. Yeah, and that's honestly what it comes down to. I'm taking Spanish right now. Mm-hmm. And I don't know any Spanish. Let's mm-hmm. be honest. You know, I don't, I don't know how to conjugate anything. I don't know the present tense of whatever predicate, whatever. I got to be, be solid B plus in the class. That is great. Just because I smile and nod at every one of her jokes. I, I, <laughs> I swear, to, I'm the only person in the class that is. Yeah, in, it in pays to be it. nice. It does. Yeah. You know, and it's not. It's not the the kissing of butt. You know, mm-hmm. in a slogan, <laughs> but it's just more like you know, getting 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 the grade. You know? Yeah, I mean, there, there's there's many elements of getting a good grade. Do what you got to do. Exactly. You know, students got to do what students got to do. I would give you some advice for that to watch soap operas. You know, I I tried that <laughs> and. I ran out of Kleenexes, so I just, oh. you know, it just got to that point where it started to affect my life way too much. Oh, like, I was really? getting home, and I, I, that's the first thing I, days of my life, you know, sap button. Oh, know? no, Mexican soap, soap well, operas. That's what the sap like, button's for, you know, it switches yeah. the language from English to, anyway. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, 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 yeah, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, Days of Our Lives is a big one of my favorites. Um, mm-hmm. I watched that, and Futurama a lot in Spanish. <laughs> um, oh, okay. But uh, never watched a baseball game in Spanish because I would just feel like, that would be a little intimidating. Mm. You know, I don't know. It's, mm-hmm. just, it's just me. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know. But um, yeah, so you're, you're, you speak Spanish. You're a Spanish speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it easy? Is it easy to yeah. speak Spanish? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you, Franco, you as well. Yeah, you guys Spanish. suck. You know that I'm the only non-Spanish speaker in in the room right now, mm-hmm. and these guys could probably throw me under the bus with how much. Maybe you guys could start start speaking Spanish, and I I couldn't contend. Well, see, see, thesis. Yeah, see, <laughs> no comprendo. You know, see, yeah, you see, but I, can't, I, can't, I can't, yeah, exactly. I, I, don't get me wrong. I know, like, question, for, you know, donde or k or you know stuff like that. But I, I have a I have a final exam coming up, and I'm not mm. I'm not uh, looking forward to it. Either one. Well, 
If you need any help, we are here to help you out. Oh, you guys are so so great. <laughs> KJCC is such a family place. You know. Anyway, what about you guys? How's your days days going? Classes going? You know? Final exams coming up? Mm. Oh, I had a had a study session for forensic science, and uh, somebody pulled the fire alarm. Oh, classic <laughs> move at the community college. You yeah, the fire alarm. Yeah, oh. and like everybody had to get out, and I was just mad because I just wanted to study because I needed that study time. Mm. And no. Wow, you're just sitting there just trying up. to be a good student. Mm-hmm. And a, some some smart guy, you know, trying to get out of it. Uh, I don't know. Smart guy is a, a winner, maybe. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. know. Quote, unquote. Yeah. <laughs> Three quotes. <laughs> I, actually, I, it's funny you bring that up. I was on my way to a class, and I saw classes vacating the science building, like groups, mm-hmm. mobs. Of so maybe that was it. I, well, was that Evergreen? Oh, oh okay. Well, maybe it happened here, too. I, <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's like a trending <laughs> thing to do right now. It might be. You know, they are sister schools. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's the end thing to do. Yeah, it is mm-hmm. the end thing. It's kind of like, uh, um, what's the end thing? Dabbing? Is that, is that a oh. end thing right now? <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 I, I guess things. it's the, I think it's the running man. Uh, oh, the running man challenge? That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I, don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Great, great challenge. But is it, really? is it is it really that hard? Is it really a challenge? Is know. it a challenge? Exactly. It's you know, right. it's it's. I challenge I, you guys. Well, the whole time, <laughs> you know, I mean, well, let's get down to this challenge thing. Maybe the challenge is getting a group of people because you know, it, hashtag Running Man challenge of you doing the Running Man is you know, that's not fun. Mm. That's you know, that's not challengeable. You know, I mean, if there was like thirty five people all doing like the a flash Man, mob, like a flash mob, yeah. exactly, and that has been that's a challenge. It's challenging. It's be hard for me. I don't. I don't have any friends. So. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, except for you guys. You know, it'd be like a, you know. I guess a, we're not your friends. Zach. Well, I, I reiterated. You know, I, <laughs> anyway, but uh, it'd be a. If we got a running man challenge, I'm sure it'd be epic, mm. especially in the KJCC studios. It's like the mm-hmm. like the Harlem Shake thing. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It would be kind of, yeah, There's. I think there's a reason why they left that back three months ago. <laughs> you know, no, I'm just kidding. Three months. <laughs> three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You know. I just. I got the song on my iPod. On my i my i i iPod. the Running Man. Yeah. The my boo. The is that the yeah. Harlem Shake? Yeah. No, we know that's yeah. the other one. Okay. Well, you have the Harlem Shake song in your phone. I don't want to talk about it. But <laughs> yes, I do. I do. So I, I I was playing. I was walking down the street. And I was playing it, and this guy I. I'm not going to tell you really what he looked like because you'd be like, oh, okay, obviously. But he was a rather charismatic individual. Mm-hmm. He heard the music over my earphone, stops me. He's like, man, you're really getting down, huh? And I'm like, <laughs> what? You know, I, I had no idea yeah. what the, the Harlem Shake was. He's like, the Harlem Shake, you know, you're in a, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and needless to say, he got very upset and walked away. But, um, oh. yeah, so if, if that's really what uh, a shake is going to do to people. Is that really what um, what we should be focusing on? Is that a trend? I don't know. No, I trends don't. are weird. Trends. Yeah, are weird. trends People are weird. weird. Speaking People of, what's weird. another trend? You know, dabbing, the Harlem Shake, Running Man Challenge. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy's laughing about <laughs> something. Wait, wait. Yeah, come on, tell Every us. Every time Franco. we talk about dabbing, it's like you, you sound like such a dad. Because <laughs> you sound so like you're like dabbing, right? Dab. <laughs> Put the emphasis on the ah, the dabbing. It's, it's, it's dabbing. It's what the kids are doing today. Can, can you dab? I I can I can a dab it on us. Yeah, I can dab. You can dab, dab there for you us. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh I missed it. Rachel didn't even. No look. way. I was oh, it's okay. It's okay. They do it again for Snapchat. For Snapchat. Okay. You know, it, actually, I don't even own a Snapchat, but I will do the dab. Let me know when you're ready. For right, okay. for right now. Okay. So. Okay, I'm ready. ready. Okay. Yeah. Dab. See, I mean, in the sound effects <laughs> for you guys at home listening on the radio when I when I said dab, you know that was the uh, that was the, oh, the sound. Yeah. So go to go to Rachel's Snapchat uh, and what what's your, what's your Snapchat? Rachel nine nine six. So R A C H I L L nine nine six. Oh, so it's right chill. It's kind of riddle. It's kind of yeah, kind of unique. All right, all right, all right. You don't have a Snapchat? I used to, but it got really political with. In high school, and oh, you didn't look at my story. You know, why didn't you look? You're not following me on Snapchat. Oh it's just like, dude, you are a well, 17 year old. If you're high a Giants boy. fan, then you should be on Snapchat because they, they, they give to... away tickets. And they did this new thing yesterday where you just record a video of you playing catch, and then they're going to choose a winner, and you get to play catch at the field on the Sunday game. With the Giants. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Oh, it has its benefits, but mm-hmm. you know, for like you, 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 you said that I say dabbing like a, a dad. Um, yeah, I'm not really into the whole, you know, trendy social media thing. I'm, I'm on Twitter. You know, I'm, I, mm-hmm. I don't have a Facebook. 
I got an Instagram, but, you know, the last picture I posted was maybe over three weeks ago. You know, it's baseball-oriented, so it's not like it's, you know, hey, look at me in front of the, you know. And we're back. Yeah, sorry about that technical difficulty. The but, uh, I didn't realize that we ran out of talk break time, so. It's all good. Sometimes the computers, they take control. Mm-hmm. You'll throw a 60-minute talk break on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw a bunch of... 10 minute talk breaks. So trends, uh, trends on uh, as like celebrity trends, you know, you got people wearing, you know, the, the Jordans and everything and all of a sudden, you know, like Kanye wearing those Yeezys and uh, everybody that has the money enough to buy Yeezys, they got Yeezys walking mm-hmm. around. Some people that can't even afford it and they're walking around with no shirt and Yeezys on, you know? <laughs> anyway, it's, it's uh, I don't, I don't own a pair. Or they walk around barefoot with that hoverboard thing. <laughs> yeah, still, i not really yeah. big into the hoverboards things, you know, it's. You read one yet? I've ridden one, and I mean, I personally, I have, and I'm not gloating here, I have okay balance. You know, I'm pretty balance oriented when it comes down to it. I don't fall a lot, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Um, so, I, you know, I haven't eaten dirt off of one of those hoverboards, but I, they're pretty dangerous, you know, from what I got, but uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, there was, a, there was a couple of them uh, like a month or two ago where they would just like blow up. Cause they were, oh, like, yeah, yeah, I heard about that on the news. I heard about that, that uh, if they didn't have this uh, specific manufacturer sticker on it, uh, it was an off-brand, and then it would just start to combust. Mm. You know, <laughs> well, that's, That doesn't sound too fun, especially if, you know, for all you seven-year-olds out there listening to KJCC. You know, <laughs> hoverboards are you know, lighting your ankles on fire. Yeah. But uh, all, that, all that leg hair is gone. You know, all that you know, three months, seven years. Anyway. Stupid. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you know, we're, we're a campus real radio. We only got one watch station, so we can get all all those seven year olds out there. So, either way, KJCC is what you're listening to. 104.1 FM, San Jose, Real Campus, Real Radio. Rachel Pinal's show is what we are. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, my show? No, who, I mean, if you want, oh, now, yeah, now you're just, just promote being, yourself. You know, kind of yeah. selfish here. I mean, who are you? Listen, <laughs> right, yeah, just... DJ Franco right now. You got the Friday show. Friday show in the morning from ten to twelve. You speak up just a little bit there, Franco. No, I just have to get really close to the mic. That's a little better, just a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, from ten to twelve. Oh, and then Rachel, I, DJ Shoko, who you may, uh, if you're listening, you may hear right after my show, and Zach here are gonna have a show over the summer. Intersection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. It'll hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not too hot. Oh, it's, it's going to be uh, global well, warming in El Nino. That sucks. Thankfully, we have an AC. Yeah, I was just going to say, I am freezing in here. That's a good sign, right? Yeah, I, I yeah. I had to put my sweater on. Me too. Well. <laughs> and this, I haven't seen it. I, I just I didn't bring a third layer. or a, a Third layer. I didn't bring an overcoat or anything. Uh-huh. I usually am. I'm, I'm usually a, a, no offense to Rachel, but a, a little girl when it comes to being. <laughs> uh, or, you know, a, a pansy. <laughs> better well put. Okay. But no, it's true. I've lived in California my entire life when it gets under 60 degrees. I, my fingers get blue. I'll put it that way. Mm. Well, it's, yeah, it's 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 bad. I can't keep my natural body temperature ever since I was born. Mm. Yeah, came out of the womb. I had to go right back in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a little TMI. You know, I mean, hey, real <laughs> campus, real radio. I mean, some people have problems. Kind of other people have stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Speaking of stories, Rachel, you want to? Yeah, oh, I, I have say. too many stories. It's too many stories. Tell us a story, Rachel. It's, it's your show. A story about. What? A story about what? Uh, I'm sure you said you have a lot of stories. Pick I a do. It's pick, like... Pick one of the top five stories in Miss Pinal's life. I could life. pick a recent story. Yeah, that's right. But that wouldn't and, be fun. Um, you know? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is it a good story that's recent? It's, it's a safety alert story. Like Safety alert? Like... Like Amber Alert kind of thing? No. Okay, so I almost got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I, but yeah, I told you the wait, story already, Franco. Was this, this recent? Yeah. yeah. Recent. This is like this a is month ago. Like a... Predator? Yeah. Oh my like, please, okay. It was go ahead. Yeah, it was really scary. And I kinda don't like to talk about this story because I feel dumb for no, no. like not doing anything about it at the time. But like now that because when you're in the moment, you don't react like you thought you think you were gonna react. So yeah, it was really intense. It was um a Saturday at school. I forgot why I was on campus, but um, for one of the uh, baseball games. But um, yeah, I think it was. And so I was walking to my car, get picked up, and my ride wasn't here yet. So I was waiting outside near the tech building, and then there's this car, this white car that just kept on stopping. And then I heard this guy coughing and like trying to get my attention. So I turn around, 
and he's just like, hey, come in, come over here. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> and so I kept on walking and then he would just like follow me in the car until I like ran around the building and then I like hid awkwardly next to this couple that <laughs> was also there because they were like the only people on campus. And I felt like, kind of awkward next to them because they were like kind of making out and I'm like, I don't care, but I feel safe. <laughs> And um, after that, I make sure I carry a weapon with me. Oh, okay. Uh, so <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not a weapon. Packing. Yeah, just no. heads up if you're walking around campus. See Talking Rachel. about like pepper spray. Stay clear. <laughs> uh, <no>. Yo, <laughs> pepper, spray, yeah. pepper spray sucks. It's also good on potatoes. Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, salt and pepper your potatoes? You know, you don't have a salt and pepper shaker. You just throw a little pepper spray. Dude, you got to be there, all right? You try it. Have you been pepper sprayed before? Yes. Why? And I've put pepper spray on a potato, yeah, and it's good. Uh, it's a different breed. <laughs> My that. gosh. I mean, you, you, you know, people put ketchup on uh, eggs. <laughs> people eat eggs. People I put ketchup on it. pizza, yeah, that, and uh, that's just weird. That yeah, th- weird. Those people have... Um, Problems. Oh, I, oh, whoa, that's that's kind of that's, that's <laughs> that's screwed up. But, uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Listen, that, that's not where I was going. Let's <laughs> put it that way. Um, now, they're... Uh, um, Canadian. Anyway, so, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I could say that because I'm like three fifths Canadian. Oh, <laughs> I know how that works, but yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, <Even> though, <laughs> <laughs> it's not awkward, you know. <laughs> Canada, Jesus. It's, just, it's just weird that you're saying like you can't. It's like it's like when a white guy gets called the N word by, by his black friends, okay. and like he has like the N card. He's no. it's called street cred, not the N. What? The, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've seen that on Vine. We don't say... Yeah. That, well, I mean, they don't say... I said we include myself. <laughs> they don't say, like, street cred anymore. It's, like, old. Thanks, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Exactly no, but I understand where you're coming time. from. If one of my, you know, from African-American friends, you know, they... You know, what's up, homie? I feel special. I feel entitled almost. Uh, anyway, but that's just me. Except so, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not privilege. God, jeez. It's some uh, privilege. Eh, okay, yeah, it's maybe. a different privilege. It is, but it's more accepting. It's not like you know, oh, you know, you, you know, you're you're from this land. You know, I don't know. It's it's you know, it's hard to explain. It's not as there's not as bad of as a uh, connotation. Yeah, say, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, you feel it more accepted. I don't know. It's just me. I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, your, your story, that, uh, yeah. that sucks. I'm so sorry. It, yeah, it was... Did you get his name? Was, no. Oh, good, good. No, that's good. You know, I was like, no. have you seen him again? Yeah. No, I haven't seen him again. And, he didn't um, look like a student, did he? Mm-mm. Yeah. But um, that day was a weird day because before that, there's this other guy trying to talk to me. And I was like, um... I tried to tell Nick to stop. <laughs> Gosh. I'm just kidding. I'm just, <laughs> no. I'm just kidding, Nick. Oh, you're the, you're the greatest guy. No, Nick, Nick is also the radio. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. But there I was guess... another guy. There was another guy, and he was a creep. Yeah, and yeah. then, um, I don't know, I just wanted to share this story for any of the girls listening, mm. too. Just be alert and be aware of your surroundings. And um, don't doubt anything, because, yeah, a lot of times I've been warned, like, be careful when you're by yourself. And I'm like, ah. I could, yeah, I don't know. But, like, at, in the moment, you you get nervous, and, yeah. You, you, probably, you probably got a pretty good right hook, though, right? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> and she's like, "Yes, yeah, stop." Uh, <laughs> she 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 can, I wish. she can't she could yeah, yeah be but, um, you know, pepper spray yeah. mm-hmm. and, the right, and the right hook yeah <laughs> just, put, just put like pepper spray in your hand and just punch them then, mm. there is creative <laughs> thinking right there some MacGyver you. stuff that is mm-hmm. or MacGyver <laughs> you ever watch that show no you know, oh my gosh this is so funny, <laughs> so funny. MacGyver okay. I'm sorry you're the, you're the show host oh well I don't know <laughs> any more stories you want to share uh, very brave for sharing that story I want to want to say that alright thank you Zach so let me think of another story <laughs> I'm being serious but you laughing that's, that's, that's you know the interaction between you two is really if only funny. I don't know I don't know why I feel, I feel like I'm 30 wheeling it right now like I'm, I'm, you're the, it's like closer I'm not, to you, dude. Like you have the here. earphones that actually work. I could barely hear myself. You know, you're more into the show than I am. <laughs> you were here before I was. The mic's like pointing at you. Though. My ride is waiting Oh, Franco, for me. can you explain why you're here? Oh. Why you were here? Why are yeah. you here, dude? You oh. can go here. <laughs> no, like promote your play. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, if you're listening, <laughs> and if you're listening, uh, it's pretty sure you're still on campus. So at seven thirty, so we get here at seven. Get a good seat. Go to the theater building. We're doing a production today. To double whammy cap type thing where he gets two plays. It's my play first and then it's the other play. Um, it's, it'll be fun. It's uh, it's all run by students except for the teacher who's like, 
main director, but even our directors of our plays are their students. We're all students. Like makeup, costume design, everything. Well, not costume design because we have costumes, but like set mm-hmm. design, a lot of stuff is all student made. And this is in Miss Mendoza's class, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had her last year for uh, for theater. Great person. Yeah. yeah. You were you in a play or? No, I was just in her um, introduction to acting class. It was one of the requirements for me to transfer and. Uh, I uh, brought out my inner Shakespeare. Let's put it that way. I, I, <laughs> I brought her to tears in my final. Ask her about it. I okay. did. I really did. I, I did. <laughs> oh, whoa. I should probably ask her that today because uh, this semester is the final semester. I know. Yeah, she's retiring. Oh, yeah. That mm. stinks. Yeah, she's a talented person. Talented person. Yeah. yeah. Have you have uh, any acting classes for Rachel? No, not. No. Not during college. But um, I did take screenwriting classes. Oh, there you go. So okay. I guess kind of in the same area yeah, but um definitely <laughs> yeah <laughs> any, any awkwardness in your in your theater class with the the whole boy girl having to interact in close you know oh well i mean one of our uh, actresses has to literally just wear like underwear a bra and a gown what to her like husband. when is this when is this play again? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <gasps> and like the other day she had like really bright pink underwear and like, oh. you could really see it through the gown and it was just really funny oh my god and like today uh her husband was like hey where's your pink underwear she's like wait why do you say husband because he's not because we're all acting oh okay. it's not her husband it's, it's her husband in the play she actually hates him off, uh, off stage you know? <laughs> <laughs> they don't get along it's really weird because today i uh in the makeup room we have like desks that have like little Writing the top desk part, yeah, like a college desk, chair with a desk. Right. And mm-hmm. uh, I was just sitting, I was like, "Would we be friends if we were in like math or English class?" And like, <laughs> we deducted it that we probably wouldn't. And if we were, I would be like the last one to be inducted into the group of friends because I am so like not friendly. <laughs> you if you don't mind me asking, how did that make you feel? I mean, I, I'm looking at this person like. Well, f you. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just I, I kind of, I, I was like, man. But then I was like, that's kind of true because I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of people. Mm. Like, but also I don't like hate anyone. Right. So uh, it's kind of a mixed feeling. I was just like, eh, like I'm, I'm hurt, but yeah. I understand. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, I was gonna be. They're like, yeah, but for sure you would be a cool addition to the group. I'm like, okay. Like that's that's my big point. You see the, the the whole group thing you know i mean in high school i was definitely not into that whole thing but everybody in at lee you know where i went to high school was and if Mm. if you weren't on the baseball well i was on the baseball team but if you weren't in that athletic group you weren't really accepted and i wasn't really friends with all the athletic people because they were there was a lot of entitlement there and so i you know yeah and so i branched around from group to group so to speak and there's some people that didn't like that you know and some people that Mm -hmm. well i mean in high school they don't really see that it's like oh you you know and so going towards, like, a theater class, I w- I'm comfortable with myself. I don't really give a rat's if what other, what people think of me, you know, mm-hmm. because it's your your opinion over mine and, and what's really you know, factual. But either way, um, so theater class, um, I was <laughs> – I was I was the lively of the bunch, you know, and, and everybody mm-hmm. was very, like, oh, God. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, he's going to go now. Like, or like, oh, I'm partnered with him. I don't want to have to – you know, because I, I didn't want to, like, do half 50% sort of a thing. It was, you know, and so I, I don't know. It was mm-hmm. just, it's an interesting sociological uh, thing of how people sort of build up the, the courage to, to talk to someone or to just to, to be comfortable enough with themselves to, to do that. But, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Well, now that we're speaking of actors and acting, I just remembered another story that I had in the summer. So during the summer, my sister got a gig, and she had me help out as a makeup artist for an actual short film in CineQuest. And it was really interesting to work with these actors, and um, most of them weren't really known or to be known, but um, I know they were trying to get the main actor for the film, which was going to be Evan Peters. So I don't know. Have you guys heard of Evan Peters? No. Nope. No? <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> she was well, like, I was about to, like, I was waiting for you guys to freak her, out. The world just ended there no. for just a second. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, you guys got to know him. You guys probably know him, but you didn't know his name. Well, the whole thing is, is you probably think he's attractive, and that's probably why you've seen his picture. It's probably on your wall, your <laughs> paper, on your phone, you know. You know, Evan Peters, you know, I mean, the first thing that pops up, uh, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, is he a superhero? No. I, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I just, you know, I just, 
Evan Peters. I'm Googling him is right he? now so you guys can see. Hey, hey, do you know who Kate Upton is? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me tell you. But uh, um, Evan this dude, Evan he was in. Peters. Yeah, he's in a lot of movies. Oh, he he did a cameo in the office. He was my yeah 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 he nephew. did yeah right, yeah yeah right. Mm-hmm. yeah he bugs me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he seems like that twerp. You know? Oh my god, you guys! Uh, this is what you just want to do his lunch money. Yeah, or, or, or cut his hair, or you know, put some lack of oh grease there. You know? Like, dude, you're an actor. Put yourself together. You know who do you think you are, Kevin Bacon? Like, unless he's playing like. No offense to Kevin Bacon. I don't even really know who he is. <laughs> you know Kevin Bacon. Oh, yeah, he's, he's Kevin Bacon! Kevin Bacon. Um, he's that dude. He, oh, that dude. That dude. That boy. That boy. He's a serious actor, right? Yeah. yeah. He, has, he has a receding hairline. Is he always has his hair? Oh, right? he's in that new movie, The Darkness. I don't get out to the movie. Is he? he was oh. in that freaking Call of Duty game. Um, what? I don't. Yeah, know. he was in like Black Ops, Straight Minion. Two. What? <laughs> he was in one of the Call of Duty games where I keep like. They like did facial structure and like they did his face and his voice. Mm. Oh, okay, Kevin Bacon. Right, it's just somehow to make money. Mm-hmm. It was really weird. Interesting. But people liked it. I don't know. Oh, that was my phone. Sorry. Yeah, it was. That. He used to take her pill. I'm just kidding. Okay, that's, that's actually bad. I, I, I use that as my because I have a lot of I have a lot of alerts on my, uh-huh. on my on my watch. And so I was at work one day and it was like two o'clock, you know. And my I was next to my boss and he was just like, "Oh, you got a hot date? It's two o'clock. Why is you know why is it going?" I'm like, "No, I have to take my pill." And he, just, <laughs> and he looks at me. He's just like, "For what?" You know, just like should I be concerned? Mm-hmm. So I, I I no offense. I'm sorry. That was a uh, guy joke. Let me put it that way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on up. All okay. Right. <laughs> All righty. Anyway, so Real Campus Real Radio is what you're listening to, KJCC. You guys are so good at making awkward pauses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys are like the dream team of that. Well, it's it's all about, um, uh, what is it all Timing. About? There you go, timing. Timing. Um, <laughs> what, what's, mm. well, I don't know what's so funny over there. Is there? Yeah, I okay. know. I mean, <laughs> I feel like I'm awkward too, so I'm just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we weren't awkward... We wouldn't have individuals in this class or in this world, you know. If I'm be- being right. awkward, you know, is a sense of, you know, oh, this person might think this about. Yeah, who cares about what the other people think? You know, if you're awkward, embrace, embrace it. it. Yeah, there yeah. you go. You know, be yourself. You know, you know what I mean. I'm also really hungry. Oh, there you go. I see. That's a representation of yourself. I'm also very hungry. Are you guys okay? I'm... If you just chilling and go grab some meat. Yeah, I mean, I'll okay. hold it down until you get back. My ride's gonna be here soon. So, all right, all right. So DJ Franco is out of here. What are you getting? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> You'll see no, when I'm you okay. get there. I'm gonna switch headphones or earphones. Uh, I'm good. Thanks for offering. <laughs> Franco's got the money. <laughs> he's he, got he, the he, dough. He's like, you know what I mean? I got the money. <laughs> My kind of friend, you know. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. That's terrible. Uh, but anyway, um, so show host. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Post it up. What's next Post on the agenda? It up. Yeah, I'm just, okay. I'm just, the, I'm I'm just the sidekick over here hmm. with a mic and hmm. headphones. Let me and try to phone. think of something to talk about right now. Did you watch the Giants game last night? It was fun. Yeah. I Did you watch game. the Giants game? When was it? Tuesday? Do you see how? Two nights ago, Bumgarner? Bumgarner. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, that, that that was, was funny. Him and Will Myers got in a little uh, scuff up right there, but mm-hmm. that, that just goes to show you what kind of player Bumgarner is. He's yeah. old-fashioned, you know? Yeah. If he if he thinks you're disrespecting him, he's he's, and he's, he's not step that... Step up. <laughs> exactly. He's not that awkward person who's like, oh, I'm going to go back to the dugout and huff and uh-huh, puff. And, yeah. you know? he's gonna be, Dude, come and say it to my face. You mm-hmm. know? I thought that was really cool. And um, it was funny seeing Matt Kemp get up in there I, <laughs> in between them. I... I don't like Matt Kemp. I My sister's obsessed with him, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, is she a Giants fan? Yeah, she's a Giants fan because oh, she likes Matt Kemp. Uh, he's, a, he's a giant killer. Yeah. He, he does. <laughs> yeah. He kills the Giants when he was on the Dodgers, and now he's on the Padres, and it's just like, ugh, Kemp's mm-hmm. up, you know? Mm-hmm. Anyway. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, back-to-back complete games for Giants pitchers. Mm-hmm. First time since 2002. Wow. You know, it was uh, Yvonne Hernandez and Jason Schmidt, two big aces back in 2002, the last time that they – well, before 2010. Mm-hmm. But uh, that, that, that they were in the World Series against the Angels. So um, it's pretty cool. You know, Johnny mm-hmm. Cueto got the, a great, great uh, opportunity last night mm-hmm. against a, a pretty – lousy team in the Padres, but mm-hmm. uh, this is the type of team that you're supposed to beat, you know, mm-hmm. and so uh, yeah. we're on a, what, a seven-game winning streak? Mm-hmm. Might be the first time in Giant, or actually the first time. Today's since, like, Sharks pitching, right? Sharks pitching, yeah. there you go, there you go, yeah. Another Jeff pitcher Samaga. with um, with some, 
How should I say it? Um, An animal nickname? No. <laughs> no. Um, well, a lot of the Giants pitchers, they have some, like, spice, I guess. I don't know. Okay, say. no, but, like, some spice. Okay. Um, yeah, like, did you see the other day when the game, when he broke the bat? Yeah. <laughs> you got to like that, that, that right? That was so beast. You know, exactly. He's not, he doesn't turn around and say, hey, that, that was a bad call. He just, you know, just uh-huh. does his business and walks yeah. back to the dugout. You know? He's, he's great, uh, uh, true Bro Jackson-esque. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, I'm actually getting a phone call from my ride, so oh, that means okay. I am uh, I'm out of time. Oh, okay. So, but either way. All right. Thank you for having me on your show. No, no, no problem. It was, it's always every Wednesday or Thursday? Every Thursday at 2, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock? Okay. Well, well 2.30, we, yeah. you're on 3 o'clock. We yeah. did start a little early. Or you mm-hmm. did start a little early. Yeah, so. it was, yeah, sometimes it's at 2.30, sometimes 3 o'clock. It okay. Depends. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's Real Campus Real Radio, whenever the, the real happens, <laughs> you know? Anyway, anyway. All right. So I'm going to cut to a song by... Ooh, what song you play? Let's see. Let's play the Dead Milkman. Punk oh, rock I girl. love the Dead Milkman. It's much. It's actually my, uh, uh, a much more favorite of mine than the Dead Postman. <laughs> um, but uh, the Milkman. How did I know you were going there? <laughs> I, you know, it's, yeah, it's the Postman and the Milkman. They, uh, they are men. Well, that was Operation Ivy Sound System, and um, yeah, it's the end of my show you guys so if you were listening i hope you had a great time listening and dj franco is gonna say goodbye everyone thanks for listening to that uh show i guess is what we can call it mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that improvised yeah that was really show. uh it was fun though it was nice yeah. to have zach uh it was i'm talking about like it was my show <laughs> it, was, it was fun to be it was fun to watch the chemistry between you two if you can even call um. it that but uh yeah, I left to go get a burrito. It's pretty good. And uh, just a quick reminder, uh, if you're on campus a little later on, uh, around 7, 7.30, uh, head over to the theater. We have uh, two plays. One's a little more philosophical and uh, mature. The other is not. Okay. So mine's more <laughs> philosophical and mature. The other one is not mine. So. All right. If you're going to watch the play, stay for the first one. You can leave after that. Okay, so you yeah. heard that from Franco himself. And, yeah, it was such... A good time here with Franco and Zach. I wish they would come back again for my last show on Thursday next week. So What time? <laughs> I'm going to say 2.40 because okay. <laughs> since we started it early today, I mean, probably do the same next well, week. Well, Zach comes by, we'll start early. Yeah, I guess because he was kind of pushing it too. <laughs> <laughs> he really wanted to be on air. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. And um, yeah, that's basically everything. And I'm sorry, you guys, that I was like so unorganized today. But hey, it worked. And next week, it will be better. I'll write a script down. So I am DJ <laughs> Rachel, and I am out of here. <laughs>